Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Pisces. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of August 17th through the 23rd. So, let's just see what comes up for Pisces. What do we have for Pisces? Going to be an announcement of some sort. Let's see what else we got. What do we have for Pisces for the week? The 17th through the 23rd. <clears throat> August. Something in this month, obviously. Something that's gonna be this it's gonna happen this month, right? Uh, love! An announcement and love for you. Pisces and caterpillar things will not always be this way a change is coming looks like it's a positive change to me things will not always be this way a change is coming and it is in the love department it appears that it's gonna be in August and this is a big announcement so it looks really 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 good but you know how I can change things really fast so let's see what comes up. Uh, what do we have for Pisces? It does look good. It does. Both of my daughters. Um, one is Pisces rising. One is Pisces moon. And I am Pisces Mars. So anyhow, my Mars is in Pisces. But one is Pisces moon. The other is Pisces rising. But anyhow, what do we have for Pisces? For the week of the 17th. To the 23rd. What do we have for Pisces? Oh, the Empress reversed. Told you I can change things really fast. She's a Taurus or a Libra. Could be any other sign. But the Empress reversed is somebody that is very mean. Okay? She's mean. <laughs> she's selfish. She's possessive. Uh, and this could be you if you're a feminine. This is a female energy. Okay, this is a female energy. So we have a female or a feminine. And you know, Pisces can be very feminine. So, I mean, it could be a male. <laughs> it, it, it certainly could be. Anyhow, um, this person is mean-spirited, very selfish, very clingy, very needy, very possessive, jealous, um, only cares about themselves, uh, may have affairs, um, lack of growth, very forceful. Um, this could be termination. It could be, you know, a loss of a child. And, and, and when I say a loss of a child, it means your child could move. Okay. You know, it doesn't mean that, you know, it could be anything. Okay. But the, the Empress in reverse is somebody that is uh, a mess. This woman is a mess. Just being honest. And it could be you, could be me, could be anybody, okay? This is somebody that is a mess. King of Pentacles reversed. So this is somebody that does things illegally, okay? This one is, this one is too. Anyway, in reverse, but the Queen King of Pentacles in reverse is somebody looking out for their own good. Okay, it's a, it is a masculine energy. So, it's somebody that is very focused on their money. Very focused on everything but love. Okay, both of these people are not focused on love. And this is two separate people. It is two separate people. Okay, it's not the same person. I know that it's not. So, we have two people right here. That are not really focused on love. Now we could have an absent mother here. So we could have we could have a masculine that didn't have a good mother, you know, or a feminine, whatever. There's a, there's an absent there's mother issues. Okay, there's mother issues here. The King of Pentacles in reverse is somebody that is very materialistic. And money is more important than love. This King of Pentacles, and it could be any sign. It doesn't have to be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It's any man or masculine energy. could be a woman. It is any person that is um, 
more interested in, in money. Okay, that's what I see. But there's a lack of abundance here. On the surface, it may look abundant, but it's not. Okay, it's not. This person may not take very good care of themselves. This one might not either. There's laziness here or there's overworking, working too much. Somebody may work too much, you know, because of their materialism. They could even be doing something illegally, but we're talking about the weak. We got to get some more cards. This is unstable. This is unstable, insecure, um, greedy. We definitely have greed here. Ace of Wands reversed. Now this is something come, going south, being weighed down. Somebody is being weighed down. There is definitely a lack of growth. Both of these cards. Chariot. Moving in a new direction. So this is mastering your emotions. Taking the lead. Taking the driver's seat. Getting in the driver's seat. Going someplace. This is self-discipline, self-control. This is a transformation. This is determination, moving forward. This is taking a journey. This is hard work, dealing with opposition. So by the end of the week, you guys are going to be in a, going in a new direction. You're going to be going in a new direction. You may be, you may have been involved with somebody that was very possessive. Somebody that was very jealous. This person was all about themselves. You may have. Anyway, this is moving in a new direction. You being in control. You taking the lead. You taking a journey. This is a time of transformation. This has something to do with a vehicle as well. You're going someplace. By the end of the week, you're going to be headed somewhere. Um, this, is, this is lack of growth though. Lack of excitement. You may be, maybe you've been too focused on your job or you're dealing with a nasty individual. Anyway, there's lack of excitement here, lack of attraction. Not there's, There could be, a, you may be with somebody you're not very attracted to. Ace of Cups reversed. Star card. Four of Swords. Ace of Cups reverse. Lack of emotional. You may be in a one-sided situation with somebody. This is this is this is this is like sad. The Ace of Cups reverse. This is sadness. It's tears. You could be dealing with a woman that cries all the time. Okay, if you're the man, if you're the man, or if you're the woman, maybe you need to master your emotions. And this is mastering your emotions. Somebody needs to get their emotions in check by the looks of things. This is very very emotional. Extremely emotional, where the you know you need uncontrollable emotion, uncontrollable tears. There could be a lot of tears. This is a this is a loss of emotional content. This is an emotional blockage of some sort. But the star card is help arriving. This is a wish coming true, a dream coming true, help from the other side. So you may re be receiving. Help. Maybe it's a mother that has passed away or something like that that is giving you some sort of help you know they're sending you help of some sort um, hold on I had a message that I had to look at anyway um, you are going to be receiving some sort of guidance okay you're going to be guided you are going to be guided in a new direction you are. This is protection as well. The the star card is a card of protection. So, you know, rejection is God's protection. So I don't know if you've been rejected. You may have been rejected. Maybe you were rejected by a, a bitch. I'm just saying. I'm being honest. Anyhow, um, if you are the feminine watching this, you may be rejected. You may be rejected because you're self-absorbed. The Empress in Reverse is a feminine that is self-absorbed. Okay? And she doesn't even know what love is. She's very emotional. She can't mask. She's a freaking mask. She cries all the time. And she's very needy and very clingy. You know, who the hell wants that? Believe me, I know. Learn the hard way. Anyhow, the Star card is help. 
it's help it is it is a new purpose it's a wish being granted somebody may have been wishing for something to end this is an ending this is like a it is it's the death of an idea or a person okay this is extremely exhausted extremely fed up can't do this anymore can't do this anymore so being guided to go in a new direction so 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 Pisces, I feel like you're going to be going in a new direction. You may be traveling even. You may be moving. This is divine guidance, the star card. This is also guaranteed success. This is a blessing in disguise after the tower falls because the star comes after the tower card. So you may be experiencing a tower moment, okay, because the star card is here. And, you know, you experienced a tower moment, a life-changing moment, Everything happened for a reason. It did happen for a reason. Something ended, okay, for a reason. Looks like, you know. So, um, three of swords, one on the bottom. Very heart, heartbreaking. Somebody, you know, um, may have something to do with a vehicle. Somebody may be, I don't know where, where this is coming from. They may be, they may be, I feel like going to a hospital. I don't know where that's coming from. They may be going to a hospital. They may be on death's door. I don't, I'm just being honest with you. Um, this is uh, Ace of Wands reversed is lack of drive, lack of ambition, losing energy exhausted fed up so we do have somebody here that is exhausted and fed up they are moving in a new direction you could be dealing with there's a lot of opposition here though you could be dealing with a cancer you could be dealing with aquarius uh, taurus virgo capricorn uh, right here and you have taurus and libra right here um but you could be taking on any of these any energies but this right here is a wish being granted this is wish fulfillment this is the answer to your prayers. It's a blessing in disguise after the tower falls. So you're going to be experiencing a tower moment that is actually a blessing in disguise because it's going to move you in a new direction. There's a need to heal. There's a need to live again. And I think that, you know, you've been in, this is not living the best life and neither is this one. So you may be, you may be in a situation where, you know, there's a lack of emotional content, but things are definitely going to get better. It's interesting. Okay. That's very interesting. Okay. Things will not always be this way. A change is coming. It, it is a very positive change because this is positive change. Um, a change is coming. Some sort of wish is going to be granted. But it may not be like you envisioned, okay? You didn't envision it like this. This is a new vision in the upright. It's not, the, the wish is being granted, but not how you envisioned it to be, okay? Justice. Justice. This is getting what you deserve. You're going to be, something is going to go in your favor. And you may not see it that way. Everything is turning out as it should. Everything is going to turn out as it should. This is, this is the laws of karma or the law that is seen right through a situation and giving you what you deserve. Somebody's going to be getting exactly what they deserve. And this could be good or bad. We have this king of pentacles in reversed up there. If it's you, well, you know, this is in reverse. This is somebody who does something illegal. Okay, this is somebody who does things that are against the law to obtain money. Okay, and they could be dealing with law this week. Okay, the law could be stepping in, just saying, and it could, it could, it could uh, cause havoc because the tower comes before the star card. But the, when this law comes in, it's actually a blessing in disguise because this is freedom. It it does it breaks you free from a situation that is emotionally. Uh, it's not very happy. It's not a happy situation, put it that way. Anyhow, um, Nine of Wands reversed. And the Lovers, the unexpected choice in love. You do have a new opportunity for love here. It's unexpected. It's not who you think it is. Okay, do you get that? Do you understand? Did you hear what I just said? It's not who you think it is. Okay, this is a choice. 
between two people. You may be thinking, it's not who you envisioned, it's not. You may be thinking it's somebody in particular. You may think, you know, it's maybe it's the one you're with or whatnot. You are going to be presented with an unexpected opportunity for love. Okay? This comes in all of a sudden. This is a major choice, but there's going to be consequences here. You have to make a choice. You have to make a choice this week. Do you want to stay with this person that doesn't really love you or doesn't reciprocate? Or do you want to be in love? That's the choice. That's the choice. So I think that there's there this nine of wands is very challenging. I think this is, when you get the nine of wands in reverse, it's ex, there's an extreme challenge here. Um, I feel like you, uh, it's probably not the right time. You're probably not expecting this. Um, you may be distrustful. You may be overwhelmed. You may be, you're overwhelmed. You're overwhelmed with, you know, this sudden choice that you have. Um, this is about a contract. This is about a contract. So you do have a new contract that is coming in. It could be a soulmate contract. You uh, you have a new opportunity for love here with somebody that will reciproc reciprocate. This is reciprocation that will bring balance to your life. This is the answer to your prayers. But it's not how you envisioned it. It's not who you think it is. So I believe that you are going to be challenged with making a decision. A choice. This is a challenge. You are going to be challenged. Okay, you're going to be challenged. And, and I think that you're going to struggle with it. You're going to struggle. Somebody's going to come in all of a sudden. I know it is. It's really fast. Maybe if you travel somewhere. I don't know if you're traveling this week or you're going someplace. If It's like you in your car or whatever. You travel to this person or they travel to you or something like this. Something to do with a vehicle. Okay, I think that, you know, you, you, you may... Um, you know, it could be love at first sight. That kind of thing. Anyway, um, you have a new opportunity here. It's the answer to your prayers. It's a dream come true. But you may have to make a decision to uh Yeah, you have to make a decision, period. This is a decision. It's a choice. So you have to make a choice between two. And there, there you are gonna have to make a choice between two people. I think that this week you're going to be, um, <laughs> guided to this person. You know, there's this saying, there is a saying that if you, the person that you are meant to be with, you can't be kept away from. And I don't know the exact saying, the universe will bring you together with this person when the time is right whether you like it or not, okay? You can't keep two soulmates apart. You can't. The universe will bring you this person. And it usually isn't who you think it is, okay? So I, I feel as though you have a soulmate connection here that comes in definitely all of a sudden. It comes in very fast. Um... You weren't expecting it. You definitely weren't expecting it. But you're going to have to make a choice. Do you follow your heart? Do you end the current contract you're in? What do you do? What do you do? You're going to, you're, it's not going to be easy. It's definitely not. This is hard work. This is a transformation. So I feel like you are, this is an ending. It is an ending. So I feel like you are going to probably uh, end something with an individual that maybe you're not even attracted to them or they're not attracted to you. The, the ace of wands reverse is, is lack of attraction, no desire. Okay, there's no desire, there's no excitement. So you have somebody coming in or you travel to this person or they travel to you. This has to do with a vehicle. It has to do with a vehicle and travel, being on the road, you know. It's like... Uh, But there's a lot of uh, doubt. I think there's a lot of doubt. But I do feel like this is a soulmate connection. You may be falling in love with somebody. Just love at first sight. 
That's what it is. <laughs> but does it happen this week? It's going to happen soon. Good luck.